Hi, it's Brian Thomas from the 55KRC Morning Show. First off, Mr. Speaker, congratulations to John Boehner. I don't know about you, and I don't know what your position is about John Boehner. I feel one hell of a lot better about him being third in line for the presidency than I ever could have felt with Nancy Pelosi. So let's face it, you know, the country's a safer place now. Uh, and, you know, good luck dealing with the problems facing government, John. I wish you all the luck in the world, and I hope and pray that you will be the the, the, the bastion of fiscal responsibility before our country falls apart. Got a chance to talk with someone who understands economics and understands it well. Walter E. Williams on the program today, and I was really excited to talk to him because I've been reading Walter E. Williams since I became politically of age, at least I believe I believe I've been reading him that long. Anyway, um, has a brand new book. You can get it on my blog page, Up From The Projects. Uh, talks about his life. He's 75 years old. He's seen the dark side. He's been in, he grew up in a, in a low middle class, uh, lower middle class neighborhood. Uh, he has seen discrimination. He has seen oppression. Uh, but he rose above it, fought the challenges, built a life for himself, and is unapologetic over it. He has a lot of things to say about the state of society. And if you get a chance to listen to my interview with him, um, I encourage you to pull it up on podcast. A very optimistic, very, very uh, interesting man. And uh, one of my personal uh, political commentator heroes, at least insofar as that goes. Um, also talk with a guy uh, that has started a, a, a place called NoLabels.org. I didn't know anything about it. And if you read and you don't look at the analysis of what the book, if you don't look into the words that are being used on the No Labels, I believe it's .org page, um, it may sound like this warm and fuzzy wonderful thing. And after talking with him, that sounds to me like all it's for. Because as I kept pressing, it was Mark McKinnon, I believe, as I kept pressing him for what the organization stood for, he kept saying, we want, pe we want our politicians to meet together. We're going to report on them meeting together. We're going to report on bipartisanship. So, well, bipartisanship to what end? If our politicians, let's say the rhinos and the, the, the socialist Democrats meet together and expand the size and scope of government, that's meeting together. And that's getting something accomplished, but it's not getting something accomplished for the good of, of the United States. And it's also the antithesis of constitutional freedoms and protections. So without a philosophy, and he wouldn't say what the philosophy was. He would only say that they are going to report on bipartisanship. Meeting together, progress toward meeting together. You got to watch something like that. And the more I talk to him, and I had a couple of listeners call in in the morning and warn me about this guy, and then I finally read the article by George Will from the Washington or Post, which you can get on my uh, blog page. Uh, I became very skeptical. But the more I kept talking to him, the more skeptical I became. And it, it, I'm not certain this organization's on the up and up. So I suggest strongly before you start buying into what they're selling, you look into it because it didn't sound like much podcast it. It's there. Listen for yourself. Have a great day. It's Friday tomorrow.